Good afternoon and welcome back. It's good to see you. I want to look now at a talk about perpendicular lines and especially want to focus upon their gradient um, and what we can say about it. And um, after which, uh, in next videos, uh, I will show you what types of questions you can get uh, when it comes to perpendicular lines and coordinate geometry. Okay, now what I've prepared here for you is uh, two lines and they're perpendicular. Yeah? Perpendicular means uh, they make an angle of 90 degrees. Okay, so hopefully anyway, the walls are perpendicular to your floor and ceiling. Okay, now that's not always the case because I'm looking around me right now, I'm in Egypt and I have to say some walls are not really perpendicular, but anyway, perpendicular means 90 degrees. Okay, and I drew the line y equals 3x minus 2. And we know I have the gradient intercept form now of a line 3x minus 2, where the y intercept then is minus 2. Let's have a look. Yeah, there it is. Y intercept there, minus 2. And the gradient is 3, which is one step to the right. I'm going one, two, yeah, three steps up eh? everywhere. One, one, two, three. Okay, so that line is correct. I drew that correctly. Now the other line which makes an angle of 90 degrees on this line has the equation minus 1 over 3x plus 1. The y-intercept is 1, all right? And minus 1 over 3 is the gradient, so it's going down. And minus 1 over 3 means, well, then in one step you go yeah, a third down. That's difficult to see, but it also means that then in three steps, 1, 2, 3, I'll go 1 down. And that is indeed the case. So I'm just now going to write down those two equations, y equal 3x minus 2, yeah, and that one is perpendicular, that is the sign perpendicular to y equals minus a third x plus 1. I'm going to write that down because I'm going to add to that in a minute because I prepared another set of x's for you. And again, we're going to have a quick look, y equals 2x plus 1 y-intercept is 1 and the gradient is 2, so 1 to the right and then 2 units up, back on my line, yeah, so that one's correct. And that line perpendicular to it, yeah, which makes an angle of 90 degrees, minus half x plus 2, so y-intercept is 2, and minus a half, so it's going down every step a half, so that makes in 2 steps 1 down, yeah, that's correct. So I'm also going to write those two equations down now here. So y equals 2x plus 1 is perpendicular to y equals minus a half x plus 2. Okay, I'm just going to put a little line here in the middle because these are two separate examples. But the reason why I wrote them here together is just to, to have a look at the relationship between perpendicular lines and then their gradients. Because I hope you realize, if I just take this example back, that this line yeah, is perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 1, but so is this line if I would draw it. Yeah? And so is that line if I would draw it. Actually, all lines parallel to this line will be perpendicular to the line y equals 2x plus 1. So what will change all the time yeah, is the y-intercept. Yeah, here it will go through here, that's the y-intercept, here it is the origin, the y-intercept, here it is at 2, the y-intercept, as the y-intercept changes, however the gradient stays the same all the time. Okay, and also if we look at this line, yeah, the y-intercept now is 1, yeah, but here we are still perpendicular to this line, now uh, the y-intercept changes, but the gradient is the same, these are all parallel lines then, yeah? Okay, so we're going to have a look at the gradient, and here it is minus, oh, sorry, here it is 3, and there it is minus 1 over 3. And here it is 2, and that's perpendicular to a line with a gradient of minus 1 over 2. Now perhaps you already see a relationship, that is that lines are perpendicular, uh, and then one gradient is the negative reciprocal of the other one. Well, that's always a difficult word for me. I'm, I'm Dutch. Reciprocal, yeah? If you like, 
Yeah? You turn it around, but then the negative. Because three, as a fraction, is three over one. So the reciprocal, if you turn that around, is one over three, but then the negative one. And here two is two over one. And then the reciprocal is one over two, but then the negative one. So the negative reciprocal, yeah, um, and the, sorry, if you have two lines, then you have the gradient of one line, and the negative reciprocal should be the gradient of the other line, and then they are perpendicular. Now, what did I just say? Yeah, that if, for instance, if I have the line y equals 5x, yeah, which line is perpendicular to this line? Well, for instance, y equals the reciprocal, well, then the negative minus 1 over 5x, yeah, and if you like, plus 1. The y-intercept doesn't really matter, yeah, because all those lines, excuse me, are um, perpendicular. Yeah, so the y-intercept changes all the time. Do you see the y? intercept change. The gradient remains the same. So perpendicular lines are lines as soon as their gradients are each other's negative reciprocal. Okay, I'm going to give you one more example. For instance, the line y equals 2 over 3x plus 5. Can you give me an equation of a line perpendicular to this line? Well, for instance, y equals the negative reciprocal, so 3 over 2x, and the y intercept doesn't matter, I can say plus 5 again, but I can also say minus 1. Yeah, so y equals minus 1.5x, yeah, 3 over 2, top heavy, turning it into a mixed number, minus 1 is perpendicular to that particular line. But also the line y equals minus 1.5x plus 3 is perpendicular to that particular line. But also the line y equals minus 1.5x plus 122.5 is perpendicular to that line. Because it's the gradient where you have to look at, yeah, and it's the gradient which you take the negative reciprocal of, and then you'll have a perpendicular line. Okay, we're going to have a look at some example questions in the next videos which will explain this matter even more. Okay, so do not worry if you're still a little bit shaky about this, just have to look at the next videos. Alright, see you then.